Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today I want to talk about free transform. Now in Photoshop, there's the free transform and you can basically just kind of distort things however you want. There's not really an equivalent in After Effects. Um, for example, say I've got this background here and I want, and I crop it off with a star. So I use just the um, shape layer tool and mask out a star shape. Now, if I want to adjust this in any way, really the only way I, I can do it, if I go into distort, I can do like a mesh warp or I can do a corner pin. Um, let's try the corner pin. If I do the corner pin, it still puts the corner, the pins up in these corners and it's not exactly <laughs> what I want to do. It's doing some really funny stuff. And mesh warp is just as difficult to use. So there's another way of doing basically a free transform um, that keeps these textures in here if I'm using a mask like this. So what it is, is I'm going to first duplicate that mask. So I've got two of them. Um, the second one I'm going to put to none and the top one, the first mask, I'm going to lock it. Now let's go into the effects, distort, and then go to reshape. Bring that percentage up to 100. Source mask is mask one. Destination is mask two, and then bring the elasticity to super fluid. And what this does is basically I can warp this thing by using the reshape tool to go from one mask to the other. So it's kind of like having a free transform based off of your mask and your vertices. So that's a quick tip for you. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to um, transform and distort something that is a crop or uh, masked in of a bigger layer, this is really an easy way of doing that.